it's LV for House of Color. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a how-to contour video and I know there's hundreds of them out there. I'm obsessed with watching all of them. I love watching the transformation but sometimes I just can't get the technique down because it's just way too elaborate. So this is my rendition of how to contour. It's a little bit more basic and subtle. You can see that it's very natural and I promise you it is not hard at all. So stay tuned. I'm gonna show you guys how to contour for us basic ones. Okay, we need a contour too. I'm going to be using the Aesthetica Cream Contour Kit today. It is brand new and it will be available on Holtlook.com for a major, major discount August 27th. So be sure to look out for that if you guys like the product. This kit is gorgeous, you guys. The packaging is so sexy. It's sleek. It's clean. When you open it up, there is a mirror right here and it, it also comes with a little guide sheet as to how you're supposed to contour just in case you don't watch this video, you can always refer to this. And then inside it comes with six shades to choose from. Now I'm still fairly new to contouring, so I haven't quite decided if I like creams or shadows, but I definitely do think creams are more natural looking and it is easier to maneuver. So let's get started on the tutorial. I don't have anything on my face except for eyebrows and a pair of lashes, that way I don't look too dead. So what I'm gonna start with is my foundation. Now if you guys watch my videos, you guys know I only wear foundation on my cheeks. For your under eye area, you want that part to be light. The reason why you want that area to be lighter is that it make you look more awake and more refreshed. I'm gonna make like a little triangle. And then you also wanna lighten the bridge of your nose. A little bit up here. I'm actually just using this color. I'm not using any of this. And don't worry if it's a little bit messy because you're just gonna blend everything out. But keep in mind, you don't want it all over the place. Try to be a little bit more cute about it. A little bit right here on your chin because that's where light reflects. A tiny bit beneath your brows, like right there. And I'm going to extend the concealer up here as well because I really like that part to be lighter. And then right here, I love highlighting the cupid's bow. Now for the contour, I'm going to be using a combination of this shade and this shade. And let's see how it works out on my skin. For your contour, you want to use your hairline as a guide. That's where you want to start it, right there. Okay, I got nothing on there. So let's get in there. Okay, alright. We're getting somewhere. I lied to you guys. I ended up using this one and this one because this one's too light. So I'm gonna do a little bit here and that one. Also, you wanna bring out your jawline. You wanna go from this point of your ear out. And I use this technique to kind of slim my face. This part right here, I want it to be more covered up. So instead of just dragging my contour right where my jawline is, I'm going to go upwards a little bit. That way it looks like my face is going inwards when I'm looking right at you. I look like a, I feel like an antelope. And then a little bit down here because you wanna cast that shadow beneath your jawline. You really wanna bring out that jawline. And then this trick is to minimize your forehead. You wanna put the contour right here. I feel really sculpted already. Use the rest of the product in your brush. Take your fingers and smoosh it together like this to create a very thin, thin brush. And then just swipe it underneath your lip, right where your lips come out, right there. My nose a little bit. So now that you kind of have your guides in, what you want to do is start blending. I'm going to be using the Aesthetica Beauty Sponge to blend out the light parts, and then I'm going to be using the other part of the brush to blend out the dark parts. I'm going to go put some water on this beauty sponge because I think it works a lot better when it's wet as opposed to dry. I don't want to mix the two tools together because your face is going to start looking muddy. Blend, blend, blend. Blending is the key to life, you guys. Not going to lie. Now to blend in the dark shades, I'm going to be using the other end of the brush and just getting in there and just blending everything out. We don't want any harsh lines. This is so much fun. I feel like I'm coloring again. This brush is amazing. When you're blending your forehead, you wanna blend it upwards and out. See, 
see how I'm doing this thing? I'm not going down, I'm going up. Now you guys might not be able to see this on camera, but in real life, there is kind of a disconnect between the dark area and this light area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Blender and I'm going to just kind of push it up. That way there are no harsh lines, there's no disconnect, there is no question whether or not I woke up like this, okay? My contour is done now and I'm going to continue with the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna powder over this under eye area with my powder and then going to add a little bit of blush on there. For my lips, I'm going to lightly line it with NYX Nude. And then I'm going to be using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Athens. I've been obsessed with this color lately. And now you're perfect! And that is it for my contour tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos. And if you guys have Instagram and Snapchat, come say hi at my house of color. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye! Thank you.